loves. Welcome back to my channel. Tara Gay Nicole here. How are you guys doing? I'm doing well. I was better like 15 minutes later when I thought I was recording this video, but I wasn't. But it's okay. We're going to do it again. So, I'm here to tell you what I've been doing to lose weight and what I'm adding to my plan to try and have a better um, success. So, uh, what I was doing, you guys started with me. I thank you so, so very, very much for being here and doing this with me. When I started, I was just basically trying to eat a little bit better, cutting out the chips, cutting out a lot of the snacks and crap like that, but I didn't really have a plan. It still worked for me, I guess, because I was super heavy. It still worked for me. Um, but early on in the journey, I had found out about something called intermittent fasting. Um, Leia in the group had told me she was doing it for a while, so I looked into it, and then I also found Keisha, Keisha Plus 4 on YouTube, as well as Miss Brooklyn on YouTube, and I started to follow them and do a lot of research on other people as well, and I was like, this makes so much sense to me, because intermittent fasting was something I wanted to do, but they always said I had to have breakfast, and they were like, you have to eat now. So I was like, eh, this sucks. I'm not hungry. I don't want it. <laughs> but I did it because that's what they said to do. So when I realized that I could intermittent fast with like no problem because it was already the way my body was set up, it was like the best thing in the world and the pounds were dropping when I was eating properly. So basically, um, to make it really simple, intermittent fasting is not a diet. It is not a way of eating, it's just not a diet. It is a time of eating. There are different types of intermittent fasting. I'm gonna talk about the one that I do, and I wanna also say that I am not a nutritionist, a doctor, a PhD, uh, nothing like that, I'm just me. And I'm just sharing my experience. So what I do is the 18-6 rule. 18 plus six is 24 hours in a day. And what I do is I feast for six hours and I, I'm sorry, I feast for eight hours and I fast for 16. Um, so that's 16-8 rule. Uh, it's not that hard because half the time I'm sleeping <laughs> if I get to bed for eight hours, but most of the time it's five or six hours, but still. The majority of the time, half the time I'm sleeping and the half the time I'm up and so busy at work that it doesn't even phase me. So, and even on the weekend, it is now 11.48. I haven't eaten anything and I'm not hungry. The only thing I will say is I'm thirsty. I should have had some water. But, so basically, I am not super strict with it either. There are some people that they're like, we stop eating at 7, we start eating at 11. We stop eating at 6, we start eating at 10. I am not one of those people. I'm more of the go with the flow, listen to your body, because I feel like my body was already set up for intermittent fasting, to intermittent fasting, and I'm just going to say IF going on for IF right now. Um, I usually try to stop at 7 or 8, and I'll start eating at... I'll start eating from 11 to 7 or 12 to 8 and stop eating at 7 or 8. Sometimes it goes a little earlier, sometimes it goes a little later. I try to be consistent, but to be honest, I try to listen to my body. So if I wake up one morning and I'm hungry at 9.30, I'm eating at 9.30. If that means I have to stop at 5.30 or 6, it is what it is. If I don't eat a minute fast at all that day, it is what it is. It works for me right now. I still manage to drop a few pounds, especially if I'm watching what I eat. And if I'm doing like the military diet, that military diet, I lost like five pounds, three days, no problem. Intermittent fasted through that. And that's probably why I wasn't that hungry because I had a little bit of food, but I didn't, I only had a small window to eat it anyway. So I don't know. It works for me. What I would say is if you're like me and you, people are like forcing you to eat breakfast and you normally don't even want to eat breakfast at five, six, seven o'clock in the morning, then try it. If you're one of those people that wake up hungry as hell, don't do it. Maybe it's not for you. It's not for you. So with that being said, like I said, intermittent fasting, it usually, the reason it works is because your body when you're sleeping or when you stop eating gives it a chance to slow down and work through all the processes and the longer you go without eating, it then can tap into that fat storage and then start burning the fat faster. It's actually a really good idea if you don't have to be at work super early and you're going to fast throughout the morning that you hit the gym before you start stop your fast because then you really get into that burning those calories. I have work in the morning so that is not something that I was able to do on the weekends though. I used to do that when I used to hit up Zumba and get that workout in before I started eating for the day. Now enough about that. So as I don't want this video to be super long. It's like a lot of information. Do your research people. Get on the internet. Get on YouTube. Do what you have to do if you're interested in intermittent fasting. If you're already doing IF 
comment down below on how it's how you're doing on it how you're liking it if it worked for you if it didn't work for you okay so now enough about that that's what I have been doing I've lost about 25 pounds just doing that and I'm ready to get out of these threes I got on the the scale this morning and I was at 303 no I got on it said 301 I was like nah then it said 303 and then it said 302 twice so I'm gonna say I'm 302 I don't scale out 302 and of course I'm like, oh, I'm never going to get into the twos. But we're not going to speak those neg negative nonsense into the air. We're going to get into the twos and we're going to get in there soon. So what I'm going to start doing is the keto diet. This has become really big on the internet, YouTube, Instagram, all these places. And I was like, yeah, right. I'm not eating all that fat because that's crazy. Okay, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. Uh, but then I was like, hell, ain't nothing else happening. <laughs> I might as well, I might as well try it. Now, keto is an actual style of eating. Um, so I think that for me, attached to my way or time of eating, it is a way of eating. So attached to my time of eating, it might work for me. So we're going to see. I'm not making any promises. I just wanted to bring it to you guys when I'm starting. Because I found like all the videos I find are people sharing it with me when they've already done it and I'm like can somebody start their journey with me so I was like I wonder if there are other people out there like me who feel that way who's like start your journey with me so we could do it together we could talk about it we can figure out what's going on if you feel the same way I'm feeling and such and such so I'm going to start my journey with you guys it is Saturday the 17th of June I will be starting on Monday the was that 19th of June get on with me get on with me Check out a couple YouTube videos, do what you got to do. I did that for, like, I've been researching this for, like, a month. The only thing I didn't do that I really wanted to do was to go to the doctor and get all my blood work done. But because I'm in the middle of a job, like, switching from, oh, by the way, my temporary job is now my permanent job. They offered me that. And I, my first day at permanency was the 12th, for y'all who've been following me for a minute. Yay! So... I've been doing research on this and I said the best thing for me to do is get a book. I have started reading it. I'm up to like about there. I want to get to there by today because that's where the shopping list and the meal plan start. And I'm going to probably hit up Trader Joe's tomorrow and grab all the stuff that I need unless ShopRite or somewhere else has it cheaper. I will probably go ahead and do a shopping haul with you guys and show you what I got and maybe a meal plan video with you guys to show you what I'm going to be eating for the first week once I figure it out. So I'm doing this in a little bit of time as far as getting started as well, but I have been researching for a while. So if you wanna, if you've been researching and you haven't started yet and you wanna start with me on Monday, let's get it, leave a comment down below. We'll talk, we'll chat, do whatever. Um, and I hope that even if you don't start with me, you can definitely just help encourage me. I don't know if this is gonna work for me. So basically, let me give you a real quick breakdown of what keto is so this video is not forever. Uh, keto is a high fat, low carb, moderate protein diet. Those are the three main macros that you need in your life, protein, carbs, and um, fat. And the one that I'm going to do, the lady in this book, I love her. She's so relatable. She's had so many issues um, that she's used keto to help her solve. And she actually has different plans. She has like five, three main plans and two other, other plans. So like five, a total of five plans for depending on whether you want to do strict keto or if you want to do something that she has called carb ups or you want to do fueled fueled fat she has a different approach okay so it's really cool i think i'm going to actually start with the classic keto ck classic keto and just try that and then if it doesn't work for me i'll try one of her other approaches so i don't give up um i'm going to definitely try for a good month or so because there is something called the keto flu which is about two weeks long and it's where if you if you don't know what you're doing which i'm hoping this book will help me avoid that <laughs> um um it's where you start feeling sluggish and fatigued and you just feel tired and you get headaches and things like that and usually after two weeks you start to get the energy boost and everything's going well now Basically, like I said, keto is a high fat. I know. I know. I, I know. This is like, what? High fat? Excuse me. Doctors don't do that. Cholesterol, blood pressure, high fat. No. So it's high fat, low carb, medium protein. I don't know if this is going to work for me, but we're going to give it a try. So basically, the classic keto is about 75% fat. Then it's about 
I think it's 20. I want to say it's 20% protein and then 5% carbs. And then you figure out, you know, you, she gives you actually a calculator whole situation thing going on and, and you have to figure out the grams and all that stuff. If you want to break down and all that, I can just leave a comment below. I will do a different video on it. I don't want this one to be super long. So that's the one I'm going to start with. Um, and the basic, basic principles of it is that you're trying to shift your body from glucose burning to fat burning. Glucose, your carbohydrates are made up of a lot of glucose. And so your body runs off of glucose. And what you're trying to do and why you get these headaches and kind of sluggish in between periods sometimes because your salt context is you're losing a lot of that water weight initially, you know, all that goes off and you lose a lot of salt with that. And then you lose a lot of magnesium. And those two things together sometimes make you feel very fatigued and things like that. So there are different options in her book that she gives you like some refueled kind of latte. She has great solutions and what, what food you can get. If you're like, you don't want to take supplements, the foods that give you more of the certain thing that you might need, so you can incorporate those more into your diet. So there is that. And when you switch to fuel burning, fat burning, you become fat adapted and then you start to burn your body fat if you're doing it correctly. This is not the time to be like, okay, maybe if I don't eat 75% of my fat, I'll start burning fat faster. She says no. No, 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 don't do that. Eat all of your fat because if you don't eat all your fat, it's going to be burning the nutritional fat and not burning the body fat. But that's a whole nother conversation for a whole nother time. I'm just here to tell you what I'm starting to do. So along with my um, intermittent fasting, I will be incorporating my keto diet and I will probably come back in a week or two to let you guys know how I'm doing and interested to talk to you guys in the comments to see if you started it or will be starting it with me and see how you guys are doing on it. I think the first couple weeks are going to be really hard, especially if I get stuck in that keto blues situation, which I'm going to try to avoid at all costs. And I like rice. I like jasmine rice. I have, I'm going to have to clean up my pantry. It's so ridiculous. Can y'all see my pantry back there? Yeah, I have to, it's really just a bookshelf with stuff in it. So I have to clean out my pantry so that I get rid of all the rice and stuff. But I'm not going to get rid of it yet because I might not know if this is going to work for me. But if it does work for me, then I'll give it away to friends and stuff like that. It's good food. You know what I mean? Can't throw that away. Jesus knows. Can't do that. But that's it. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. What I was doing, what I will be doing going forward. And pray for me, people. Pray for me. Come join me. Leave comments. If you are keto... Leave me some good recipes. Tell me this. I mean, this book has more than 125 of them. I haven't gotten to that part. But if you know some other good resources, um, I think I'll probably be also getting the Skinny with Kendra book as well. Because I feel like the more I read, the better it off it will be. But however, I feel like this video is getting really long. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, in order to be great, you have to be grateful. Have a very blessed day.